Good morning. The entrance hymn is number 420, All Are Welcome. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy.
Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Hear this, you who trample upon the needy and destroy the poor of the land. When will the new moon be over, you ask, that we may sell our grain and the Sabbath that we may display the wheat? We will diminish the ephah, add to the shekel, and fix our scales for cheating. We will buy the lowly for silver and the poor for a pair of sandals. Even the refuse of the wheat we will sell. The Lord has sworn by the pride of Jacob, never will I forget a thing they have done. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the, letter, the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, first of all, I ask that supplications, prayers, petitions, and thanksgivings be offered for everyone, for kings and for all in authority, that we may lead a quiet and tranquil life in all devotion and dignity. This is good and pleasing to God, our Savior, who wills everyone to be saved and to come to knowledge of the truth. For there is one God, there is also one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as ransom for all. This was the testimony at the proper time. 
For this I was appointed preacher and apostle. I am speaking the truth. I am not lying. Teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. It is my wish, then, that in every place the men should pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or argument. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A rich man had a steward who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, What is this I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to himself, what shall I do? Now that my master is taking the position of steward away from me, I am not strong enough to dig and I am ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do so that when I am removed from the stewardship, they may welcome me into their homes he called in his master's debtors one by one. To the first, he said, How much do you own, my master? He replied, One hundred measures of olive oil. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Sit down and quickly write one for fifty. Then to another, the steward said, And you, how much do you own, my master? He replied, one hundred cords of wheat. The steward said to him, Here is your promissory note. Write one for eighty. And the master commanded that dishonest steward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than are the children of light. I tell you, make friends for yourselves with this honest wealth so that when it fails, you will be welcomed into eternal dwellings. The person who is trustworthy in very small matters is also trustworthy in great ones. And the person who is dishonest in very small matters is also dishonest in great ones. If, therefore, you are not trustworthy with dishonest wealth, who will trust you with true wealth? If you are not trustworthy with what belongs to another, who will give you what is yours? No servant can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both, God and Mammon. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Good morning, everyone. Hey, wake up. Good morning, everyone. Just up to a few weeks ago, I used to suffer for everything. And I used to blame myself for almost everything. If the parking lot was not full, that was my fault. If people didn't come to church, that was my fault. If the groups are not responding well, that was my fault. 
if something happened in the church, that was my fault. At one point it was. <laughs> but at the end I understood what the, this gospel is all about. Each one of us, including you, 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 and myself, is responsible for God's gifts in our lives. Each one of us, at one point in this life and in the next one, will be accountable for what you do, for what you say, for what you have done. In today's Holy Gospel, the Lord is reminding us that all of us have received beautiful gifts from heaven. All of us have become administrators of God's holy gifts. But the most beautiful thing that the Lord has entrusted to you is the one who is next to you right now. Husbands, wives, the most beautiful thing that the Lord has entrusted to you is called a heart. When you love, you give the heart to that person. Take care of it. When somebody gives you his or her heart, that person is giving you his or her entire life. That's pure gold. That's pure diamond. A heart doesn't have a, a value. That doesn't have a measure. Doesn't have a cost. The heart is the most beautiful thing that you can also give to God. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, take my heart. At the beginning of the Mass, we go, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. With this heart, O oh Lord, I was unfaithful to you. With this heart of mind, Lord, I stopped loving your people. With this heart of mind, Lord, I stopped loving myself. But here I am, Lord. Even though I am not worthy, I come to you because I need you, because I cannot do anything without you. My brothers, my sisters, each one of us is the steward of God's gift. Each one of you is the steward of your family's life, your family's hearts. Take care of it, protect it. If something is broken, fix it. If something is sick, heal it. If something has to be done, do it. But don't do it tomorrow. Do it today. Because God is counting with you. God needs your hands. God needs your eyes. God needs your ears. God needs all your senses. God needs you. Because without you, he will not save you. In the first reading, we heard from the prophet Amos. He said, hear this, you who trampled upon the, upon the needy and destroyed the poor of the land. The Lord has made us brothers and sisters. The Lord has made us equals. The Lord is asking us to take care of each other, to protect each other, to heal one another. The Lord is sending us to be good to everybody. Don't look at the color of the, of the skin. Don't look at the gender. Don't look at their ideas. Love your God. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. And pray. If you feel that you cannot love, at least pray for those people. As St. Paul says in the second reading, pray for those, especially for those who disagree with you. Pray for those who are not like you. Pray for those who are better than you. Pray for those who don't talk to you. St. Paul says, pray, pray and pray. Because when you prayed, you open yourself for mercy, for forgiveness. When you pray, you, you get closer to the Lord and you become what you are, a human being. When we put ourselves off, away from Jesus, we start being his stewards. And we fall in love with this material world. We prefer other things rather than God. 
we prefer the beauty of this world rather than love and forgiveness. When you, when you pay attention to other things, you forget about what really matters in life, your faith, your God, and especially your family. Stewards of God's mercy, stewards of God's love. Moms and dads, be a stewards of good faith. Children, be a stewards of respect and love. There is only one life in this life, and you are having that, that right now. There is only one chance to do things in the right way, and this is your moment to take advantage of that. Fix what is broken. Heal what has been sick for a long time. Be good. That's not dangerous. It's to be good. It's beautiful. As I always tell you, smile more often. Come to church as you are. Give your heart to Jesus and say, Lord, make me steward of your love. Make me steward of your mercy. As I said at the beginning of the homily, I used to blame myself a lot. But I finally understood that each one of us is responsible for God's graces. I can help you to go faster. I can help you with my prayers. But at the end, you and me, each one of us, is responsible for those graces. Do what you have to do because you know that already. Don't close your eyes to the mercy of God. Don't close your ears to the needs of the poor, to the needs of the homeless. Be there for your God, and all things will be well. At the end, the Lord says, you cannot serve both God and mammon. Whom do you follow? Whom do you serve? Whom do you love? Look at the person next to you every day. Look at the person who shares your bed every day. Look at the children that God has entrusted to you, whom you are serving. Your family, yourself, or your own desires. Who is first in your life? God or Manon, Mammon? My brothers and sisters, today is the beautiful day to begin a new life with God. Today is a beautiful day to do things finally in the right way. Enjoy what you have now, because tomorrow we don't know. What you have received is your gift from heaven. What you have received is God's grace in your life. May God give us the strength that we need to finally say, Lord, I'm here to serve you. I'm here to follow you. I'm here to love you. Love your God and love your neighbor as you love yourself. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand. In your books, in page number nine, you can find the creed. Page number nine. And all together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom we have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, 
who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who is spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world. My brothers and sisters, let us place our concerns before God, who needs the cry of the poor. That Christ cleanse every disciple from greed to love and serve him before all things. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That national and local civic leaders Govern with justice and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents, teachers, and other adults model the trustworthy behavior they expect from young people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who carry new life and those searching for a reason to enjoy it, that they may be comforted in the hope and joys life brings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the members of this faith community be generous with their time, talent, and treasure. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sake, Jovita Mendea, Thomas Mullo, Kathy and Nicol Naida, and those listed in the bulletin, that the Lord will restore them to health. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those that have died in the peace of Christ, Walter E. Morgan, Rubiella Velez Agudelo, Janiel Henson, Julio Urbina, Rose Marie Liga, Melvona D. Solomon, Michael Lacante, Louise Breda, and especially for Mr. and Mrs. Constancio and Carmina Estrocio, as well as for Frank Galloway, that they may be welcomed into the company of saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Today we say a special prayer for our beloved Monsignor Francis Engsbro. Today was his birthday. This priest who has spent more than 40 years in this church May God rest his soul. Let us pray to the Lord. In a few seconds of silence, let us present to God our own prayers and needs. Merciful Father, in faithfulness to your word, we have offered petitions for all. May your answers to these prayers Help all who, who trust in you as their Father and Redeemer, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. The offertory hymn is number 432, How Great Thou Art.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, for what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let, let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, joined with theirs in one choir of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, O oh Lord, and all you have created rightly give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice might be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy this gift we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, as whose commands we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblations of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrimage church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestowed on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and followed by divine teaching, we learn to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done on earth that it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, everyone.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under my roof, room, but when I say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me.
your mercy you have sheltered me oh shelter me oh shelter me the way is dark and difficult to see Just a few announcements. Uh, this Thursday, we have two beautiful events here in the church. We have our monthly pro-life holy hour beginning at 6 p.m. in our chapel across the street, followed by a special mass in Italiano, in Italian, in honor of Padre Pio, whose feast date is this Friday. But the mass is going to happen on Thursday, the 22nd, at 7 p.m. here in the church. And also, what is the, just good news for us. Um, it seems that things are getting better after the pandemic in regard of CCD. This year, we have never had this number of kids enrolled for First Communion and Confirmation. We are close to 800 kids this year, which is <coughs> beautiful for us. The problem is that we don't have enough catechists, people who can come and help us to teach religion to our kids. If you have a few hours off on Wednesday afternoon, please, please give us a hand. We need volunteers, we need catechists, we need teachers, we need people who can help us to teach about our faith to the, the generation behind us. If we don't teach them well, they are not going to practice their faith well. And that depends on us. You can talk to me at the end of the Mass or call the rectory. We need volunteers. In other words, we need you. Father, I don't know how to speak. We teach you. I don't know about God. We teach you. Just offer yourself. Please, give us a hand. There are eight, almost eight, 800 kids so ready to learn more about God and his church, and they count on us. If you cannot, say a prayer for us, that our kids might, might fulfill God's holy will in their lives. And brothers and sisters, be good stewards of God's graces. Be good stewards. Think ahead of time and project yourself in eternal life. Whatever God asks from you, do it, and you will never regret it. May our lady, our beautiful mother, always bless you and protect you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O oh Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel. Defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by all the power of God, 
thrust into hell, Satan, and over all the evil the spirit, who prowl for the world, seek in the ring of souls. Amen. Have a blessed Sunday, everyone. The recessional hymn is number 444, Blessed Be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, blessed be the Lord, the God of mercy, the God who saved.